Good morning. I'm here to share to you our new lesson. I want you to read the sets of words. Okay, are you ready? Number one, clean, cleaner, cleanest. Number two, happy, happier, happiest. Number three, fast, faster, fastest. What have you noticed with the uh, sets of words? Yes, it shows the degrees of comparison. Okay, the words are describing and comparing. Okay, it shows um, the degree of comparison. Okay, so we're going to learn about the degrees of comparison. The first degree is the positive degree. When we describe one person, one place, one thing or one event, it is called the positive degree. For example of this are number one, clean, number two, happy, number three, fast. So in this example, we are describing one person, one place, one thing, or one event. Okay, let's now move to the second degree, which is the comparative degree. This is used when we compare two persons, two things, two places, or two events. For examples are cleaner, happier, faster. In this example, okay, we change Y in the word happy, we change Y and then we add I, E, R. Okay, we change Y into I and then we add E, R to the word happy. It becomes now happier. Okay, then faster. Okay, so the example in comparative degree are cleaner, happier, faster. Let's now move to the third degree which is superlative degree. This is used when we compare three or more persons, places, things, or events. For example, of this are number one, cleanest, happier, happiest, and fastest. Okay, so cleanest, happiest, fastest. Those are examples of superlative degree. Okay, I have here an exercises. Exercises number one. I want you to tell me the comparative and superlative of the following words. Okay, number one, long. Number two, short. Number three, noisy. Number four, thick. Number five, low. Are you ready to, to tell me the comparative and superlative degree of the following words? Okay, let's start now. Number one, long. The comparative degree of long is longer. Okay, we add ER to the word. At the end of the word, we add ER. Then, the superlative degree of long is longest. We add EST to the word okay number two short so the comparative degree of short is shorter and the superlative degree of short is shortest very good we add est to make it in the superlative degree number three noisy is the word we're going to make it the make it this word in the comparative and superlative degree so from positive degree noisy it becomes noisier we change y into i and then we add er to the word okay so the word noisy becomes noisier then in the superlative degree okay becomes noisiest okay we change y into i and then we add est at the end of the word now, let us now move to number four the word is thick so, in the comparative degree, it becomes thicker. And then, the, in the superlative degree, it becomes thickest. Okay? Thicker, thickest. Okay? Number five, low. The comparative degree of low is lower. We add ER at the end of the word. And then, lowest. We add EST at the 
end of the word low. So it becomes lowest. Okay, let's now move to exercises number two. Are you ready? You're going to tell me the comparative and superlative degree of the following word. Okay, let's start now. Number one, light. Number two, sweet. Number three, lively. Number four, cheap. Number five, deep. Are you ready to tell me the comparative degree and superlative degree of the, fo of the following words? Okay, let's start now. Number one, light. It, the comparative degree is lighter. Very good. How about the superlative degree of the word light? Very good. Lightest. Okay, let's now move to number two. Sweet. The comparative degree of sweet is sweeter. Very good. While the superlative degree of sweet is sweetest. Very good. Let's now move to number three. Lively. The comparative degree of lively is lively, livelier rather. We change Y into I and then we add ER at the end of the word live. Okay, so it becomes now livelier. Then in the superlative degree, we change Y into a I and then we add EST. So the word lively becomes now liveliest. Okay, in the superlative degree. Let's now move to number four. Cheap is the word. Okay, so we're going to make it in the comparative degree and superlative degree. So from the word cheap, it becomes cheaper. We add ER to the word to make it in the comparative degree. And then in the superlative degree, we add EST. So it becomes cheapest. Cheapest. So we add EST to make it in the superlative degree. So cheap, cheaper, cheapest. Okay, let's now move to number five. The word is deep. So let us make it in the comparative degree. It becomes deeper. We add ER at the end of the word becomes now deeper. And in the superlative degree, it be, we add EST at the end of the word becomes deepest. So deep, deeper, deepest. Let's now move to exercises number three. Tell me the comparative degree and superlative degree, degree of the following words. Are you ready? Very good. Number one, weak. Number two, dark. Number three, quick. Number four, smart. Number five, strong. Now, can you tell me the comparative degree and superlative degree of the following words? Okay. Number one word is weak. Okay. So, what's the comparative degree? Of the word weak, yes, weaker. We add er at the end of the word weak. So, in how about in the superlative degree? It becomes weakest. We add est at the end of the word weak. Of the word weak. So weak, weaker, weakest. Let's now move to number two. Dark. In the comparative degree, we add er. So the word now is darker. How about in the superlative degree? Yes, it becomes darkest. We add EST at the end of the word dark. It becomes now darkest. So dark, darker, darkest. Let's now move to number three. The word is quick. So the comparative degree of the word quick is quicker. We add ER at the end of the word quick. So becomes now quick, quicker. So, in the superlative degree, we add EST at the end of the word quick. It becomes now quickest. So, quick, quicker, quickest. Let's now move to number four. The word is smart. So, the comparative degree of the word smart is smarter. We add ER at the end of the word smart. So, the word smart now in the comparative degree is smarter. And in the superlative degree... The word is smartest. So smart, smarter, smartest. Let's now move to number five. The word is strong. Let us make it in the comparative degree and in the superlative degree of comparison. Strong, in the comparative degree, it becomes stronger. We add ER at the end of the word strong. 
so it becomes now stronger and in the superlative degree becomes very good strongest you add est at the end of the word strong so strong stronger strongest very good now can you tell me the three degrees of comparison okay so the first degree is the positive degree when you describe one person one place one thing one event the second degree is the comparative degree when we compare two persons two things two places two events we call this as comparative degree while we say that it is in the superlative degree when we compare three or more persons places things or events okay now i want you to get your paper and pen and then write the comparative degree and superlative degree of the following adjectives okay number one bright number one is bright number two is small number two is small number three high okay number three high number four tall number four tall number five old number five old okay are you ready to check your answers let us check your answers you're going to tell me the comparative degree and superlative degree degree of the following adjectives are you ready okay let's start number one bright so the comparative degree of bright is brighter then the superlative degree of the adjective bright is brightest so bright brighter brightest number two small the adjective is small the comparative degree is of the word small is smaller well in the superlative degree the uh, word small becomes smallest number three high so the comparative comparative degree of the word high is higher while in the superlative degree it becomes highest so high higher highest number four the adjective is tall the comparative of the adjective tall is taller while in the superlative degree the word is tallest so tall taller tallest number five the adjective word is old in the comparative degree it becomes older we add er at the end of the word old it becomes older then in the superlative degree it becomes oldest we add est at the end of the word so old older oldest who got five wow all of you got five very good for your assignment you're going to write examples of positive degree comparative degree superlative degree of adjectives okay it's time for you to go bye take care god bless everyone this is your teacher teacher evelina bye for now